Hello viewers, welcome to Exchange Auto Discover Deep Dive session. In this session, we are going to see what is Auto Discover, how it helps Exchange mailboxes to configure automatically, and troubleshooting the normal issues when it goes wrong. Okay, let's get started. About me, my name is Radha Krishnan Govindan, also known as RK. I have 11 plus years experience in IT and I am Microsoft most valuable professional and certified trainer. Holds many certifications in various technologies and very few I have mentioned here for your reference. I am blogger, author, trainer around counting. Here I have mentioned my social ideas for you to reach if anything related to technologies. Today's agenda, what we are going to cover is history of auto discover, how it is related to Exchange and how it helps Exchange mailboxes to get configured when users are in corporate network and over the internet automatically. Also, we are going to see some troubleshooting steps when facing issues and the tools available to use for troubleshooting. History Auto Discover services got introduced with X in 2007 and after the huge success it also continued in all all the exchange versions nowadays Auto Discover is the mandatory for the mailbox configuration in fact many help desk support teams they do not know the exchange web urls apart from outlook on the web urls it works with https 443 port in exchange 2007 and 2010 it it uses RPC, RPC over HTTPS, aka Outlook Anywhere. Let's see what is Auto Discover. Auto Discover is one of the virtual directories available in Exchange Client Access Role or Services. It helps in configuring Microsoft Outlook and mobile devices automatically. It also helps in distributing offline address book, which means OAB, availability services out of the office, free busy information and folder sharing permissions. In general, let's see how it works in Exchange. When when user open a, opens up Outlook client or mobile Outlook app for the first time, it tries to con contact domain controller and hands over the credentials. Domain controller validates the user information. Post validation, domain controller provides the appropriate URLs for the user Outlook to contact the right Exchange server's information. And then Outlook client contacts the Exchange client access servers based on the information received from the domain controllers. Client access server checks for the user mailbox information and mailbox database located in the mailbox servers. Post confirmation and availability of the mailbox details for the user. It provides that home database information to client access server. Client access server elevates the Outlook client to connect and configure the mailbox. In logic, it looks very simple, but there are different methods and calls used when user is in backbone and when user is in internet. Let's see them in detail. Now, let's, let's assume user sits in backbone network and try to configure Outlook client. User opens up an Outlook and try to initiate LDAP query towards domain controller. Domain controller understands this AD site the request comes from and it finds out how to discover site scope information and the inside outside cache servers list for that AD site. Then Outlook try to create SCP connection point towards domain controller. SCP is nothing but service connection point. Now, domain controller hands over that SCP connections for that Active Directory site scope to the Outlook client. Outlook client, using that information, it creates services discovery API call towards the client access server received in the format of XML file. Client access server then it provides the information uh, to the Outlook client in the format of HTTP response with URLs of a backbone and internet for that user Outlook to configure. Once Outlook received uh, HTTP response from client access server and then it requests for mailbox to configure. Well, then 
Client access server validates the home database and mailbox server information and it receives the connection uh, information from the mailbox server. Post that, user mailbox gets configured on Outlook client. When user in corporate network, it follows different method and it is very easy to recheck in servers and configuration sets completed in a minute. Wherein from internet, when the mailbox configuration request comes, it gets into another part of connection request. Take a look. Let's let's assume user now sits in the internet. He opens up Outlook and he, he try to configure mailbox and it initiates LDAP request again towards domain controller. Since user sits in the internet, you will not be able to reach Active Directory directly. So the request obviously it will get failed. Now, based on the user email address, at domain.com, you try to query public DNS since user sits in the internet. Now public DNS request finds a record for auto discover that is called autodiscover.domain.com and that gets handed over to the outlook client using that autodiscover.windows.techpro.com record which means a public dns response outlook client creates two requests or it forms two requests in the format of https and it it try to find the uh, client access server and uh, once it reached client access server, client access server understand the request is coming for the user account, and then it it responds back with HTTP response uh, with the all the uh, you know Exchange URLs. Once Exchange is, uh, Outlook client uh, validated that request, it tried to connect and configure mailbox. Now client access server connects backend mailbox server for the mailbox connection. Once verified, the mailbox gets configured in the Outlook and Mappy, uh, Mappy mailbox gets configured in the Outlook and start downloading the mails. So far, so good. We have seen how auto discover helps Exchange mailboxes to get configured automatically in Exchange infrastructure. Now let's get into another part that's called Exchange Hybrid. Let's see how Auto Discover helps mailboxes to get configured in Exchange Hybrid mode. In Exchange Hybrid mode, let's assume user mailbox is right now available in Exchange Online and he initiates LDAP query towards a domain controller. And once request goes to domain controller, it follows same method. It validates the user credentials where it comes from Active Directory site. And it, it hands over auto discover site scope information and the inside outside cache server list to the Outlook client. Outlook client takes that value and reaches the client access server. Right now, client access server Response back to the Outlook client telling that the mailbox is in remote uh, uh, remote uh, exchange services and the mailbox is remote mailbox in on-premises and provides target domain and target URL to configure mailbox. Then Outlook client sends a request to Exchange Online which received information from client access server and Exchange Online verifies the request and understand the mailbox available in Exchange Online, but it finds the domain is federated domain and request should get authenticated in on-premises Active Directory. And then the Exchange Online redirects Outlook client to the ADFS server. Now Outlook client reaches on-premises ADFS server and it authenticates against it. Once authentication is completed, ADFS provides an access token to the Outlook client. Using that Outlook access token, it reaches Exchange Online back and Exchange Online verifies that access token and it, it authorizes user Outlook to configure mailbox. Once authorization done, Exchange Online even he elevates the user to download mails using MAPI protocol. 
now let's assume same exchange online uh, user in hybrid mode sits in the internet for the mailbox configuration again user initiates outlook configuration request using ldap initiate query towards domain controller since user sits in the internet obviously it will fail then user try to contact public dns for the auto discover record now Public DNS provides response back to the Outlook client with the auto discover record. Using the auto discover record, he contacts the client access server uh, and initiates the mailbox configuration using the internet facing client access server. Cli internet facing client access server, it, it sends a request back to backend client access server for the mailbox information. Now, Client access server finds that mailbox available in the cloud and it is remote mailbox in on-premises, but it provides an information for the target domain and target URLs to reach and configure mailbox. Using that information, Outlook contacts the Exchange Online for the mailbox configuration. Exchange Online again it validates and sends records back to the user Outlook client, telling that it is federated domain need to authenticated against on-premises domain controller. Now, it reaches internet-facing ADFS proxy server for authentication since the user sits in the internet. ADFS proxy, ADFS proxy it forwards the request to ADFS server for the authentication and the ADFS server, it sends the request to the, to the domain controller using the Kerberos and it it once authentication completed, it passes the token back to the Outlook client. Now, Outlook client takes that access token, contact Exchange Online for the mailbox configuration. Now, Exchange Online authentication gets completed. Post authorization, Exchange Online elevates the Outlook client to download the mails using MAPI protocol. So far, we have seen how Auto Discover helps to get mailboxes configured automatically in on-premises exchange and also in hybrid exchange. We have seen so many calls and so many methods it follows to connect and configure mailboxes. We'll see in detail what are all the basic methods exchange auto discover initiates to configure mailbox. Initial step, it, it, it does Active Directory call, which is SCP lookup call for the domain joiner computers and then it if active directory call is fails it sends a request to dns records call which means you try to find out the domain name or else auto discover dot domain name call if that call also gets failed it forwards the request in the format of http call if http call also fails it try to reach srv records for the domain provided by the user Outlook client. If SRV record call also fails, mailbox banged with error. Let's discuss tools available to troubleshoot client connections when auto discover fails. We can use Microsoft Connectivity Analyzer. This is online tool for both on-premises exchange online. We can, we can validate the connections for both Outlook auto discover failures and Outlook anywhere failures. And we can use command line and also telnet commands for checking the URLs availability and exchange server availability. And we can use Fiddler and HTTP watcher if if we need to troubleshoot uh, you know in in detail about the HTTP uh, request and HTTP errors. And we can use Netmon and Wireshark for any network level troubleshooting. Post that Outlook logging also we can use for the Microsoft Outlook level troubleshooting. This is low level troubleshooting. Uh, basically, Microsoft only does the troubleshooting, and if required, we can use MFC Mappy uh, Mappy to troubleshoot Outlook folder level or structure level any errors in the Outlook side. Let's see troubleshooting how to discover issues when it goes wrong or user not able to configure mailbox automatically. Basically, whenever you wanted to troubleshoot, first check the Exchange server site 
using the test hyphen service health whether all the virtual directories are fine and the exchange services are very much available from the back end side once that is done from the user client machine try to do ns lookup and see uh, user able to reach active directory servers and exchange servers and also try to use telnet and ping commands to validate the connections toward the exchange servers and domain controllers if that is also working and try to check CAS array or HLB connection status. Many, many, many cases comes in that area because Telnet towards the CAS array maybe will fail or number of connections in the CAS array if it is more and obviously auto discover will fail for the mailbox connection and configuration. And if that is also working, we can check SCP information for the site uh, user try to connect from the uh, Active Directory and validate you can check the auto discover site of trinity using the command lets provided here and see for the sites user sits and works proper active directory client access servers are nominated for that if it is not there obviously user will fail to reach client access servers and loop will happen between the exchange sites and user will fail for the mailbox configuration if that is also fine Try to validate auto discover virtual directory if it is fine or not using the command led provided. If virtual directory is fine, leave it. And if virtual directory is something wrong, try to recreate the virtual directory for the auto discover. And check the mailbox and mailbox database availability for the user who is trying to connect and fail. And check the IAS and proxy connections for that user mailbox available data centers. We reached end of the presentation. So far we have seen what is auto discover and history of it and how it works in both on-premises and exchange hybrid mode. And we have seen tools available for troubleshooting and some basic idea about troubleshooting when auto discover is not working. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more details, Go to windowstechpro.com, search for auto discover. And you will get an article on auto discover. Open it. You will find more details what we discussed just now. Thank you.